There is a place not very far from Lisbon where the mountain meets the ocean. A stunning nature sanctuary covering the southern side of the peninsula, with ridges rising up and then diving down to an incredibly pristine sea. You'd think places like this only exist in dreams, but this immaculate natural reserve, this glorious hideaway, this little piece of paradise, is almost too good to be true. A nature spectacle that's just within your reach. This is a habitat, a 40 square mile slice of heaven and earth that's only within an hour's reach from Lisbon. It's been the stuff of local secrecy and those who discover it are the ones bold enough to go further. For a while I've been looking for a place in Portugal where the mountains and the sea exist in harmony and I think I found it here. So far from what I've seen, a habitat fits the bill. It's the most beautiful, natural, coastal site I've seen so far in Portugal. It wasn't actually the first time I'd been here. Luckily, last December, two friends had been so kind and took me along for a day trip, and that was my first encounter with this place. And in December, when you'd expect Europe to be cold, wet and grey, in this part of Portugal, the sun just dazzles. We explored hidden pathways in the cliffsides and stumbled into secret caves and grottoes. Here's a little trivia. Turns out that a 1995 John Markovich movie with Catherine Deneuve was filmed here and it's called The Convent. That's also because there's a 16th century Franciscan convent built high above the mountain of Ahabida. Which leads us high above the mountains as we took a walk to catch a glimpse of the sunset just slowly fading and waning beyond the hills. In January, when things had taken a turn for Portugal and places were becoming restrictive, there was nothing else I deeply yearned for but to be surrounded by nature. So I went back to Ahabira to retreat in the mountains and just take some time off for myself. Unplug from work, from everything, to go hiking and just connect profoundly with the green landscape. Ahabira was the place. It was a peaceful respite from all these chaotic times. This chapter of the video would have been much longer, where I share a meditative sequence of how we can derive simple pleasures in life, especially in times like this. This is the part of the video where I'm supposed to show you where I stayed in Khabida and share my experience with you, but unfortunately, I cannot show it to you. This is one of the many examples that can happen when creativity is interrupted. Somehow, the simple things really mattered again. And everything had shifted focus and somehow was able to find little joys in seemingly mundane things like preparing breakfast, listening to birds outside and later on lighting up a fire and feeling its warmth coursing through this little cottage. That sequence there was much longer, and I'd say quite personal. But to save everyone involved the unnecessary predicament, I deliberately removed all that footage from this video. To save you from a long and winded and complicated story, in a nutshell, this was because I blindly trusted someone's word, someone whom I do not know personally, to have the freedom to record some footage. And what I realized from this is that in real life, when people change their minds 
or withdraw any consent or permission, or say anything otherwise for reasons unbeknown to me. My creativity is interrupted and my vision is compromised. And perhaps the bigger regret I had wasn't even losing the footage I made. It's that I was a fool for trusting a stranger's word. But I believe in learning. And another thing I've learned from this is that perhaps good intentions don't necessarily translate well in some people. I've created the In The Mood series to take on a half full glass perspective of life. And above all this, this also taught me how much creative freedom really means to me as a creator. I realized why I created this channel in the first place, to attain a sense of creative freedom, away from the control, the interruption and domination of external forces. These videos that I create might not mean anything to anyone else, but they certainly mean a lot to me. This channel was created with a genuine ambition to help foster an authentic appreciation of places, of their history, their stories, to help promote local places and offer a healthy collaboration between personal and private enterprises made out of mutual respect. To collaborate and work with trustworthy people. To create videos that inspire and somehow earn a shred of creative dignity in return. And what's more, it's to hopefully promote kindness, not pettiness, friendship and not narrow-mindedness. It's to promote creative freedom, not exertion of control, and personal happiness, not greed or opportunism. So when someone interrupts and exerts power and control over your creative liberty, some videos will never see the light of day and will remain in darkness. And when we have creative liberty, well, my friends, we can see things clearly. Which leads us to the third and final chapter of this video, the real reason why I went to a Habida again, to go hiking and reflect about creative freedom. A Habida in ancient Arabic language means a place of prayer. And while I don't do much praying, the silence in the Habida was so profound that I could hear my thoughts very clearly. Thanks to this place, it reminded me of the simplest reasons why I love creating, the reasons why I started the series in the first place, and how much creative freedom means to me. I took this opportunity to step back from everything that I do, and Habida is just a stunning place to go hiking, clear my head, reevaluate my purpose, and see the bigger picture. 2020 had been memorable to all of us in an unforgiving way, and I'm sure it tested all our endurance, as it did mine. The good and the bad happened to me simultaneously in 2020. On the one hand, I had the opportunity to expand in the mood for life, which was exciting. And on the other, it's a really bad time, and we have this pandemic that's limited a lot of our freedoms. Both opportunity and pressure were put in this channel to potentially grow more, to do more, to go mainstream, create more videos, more productivity, more formats, engage more audience, it doesn't matter what, just more, more and more. And while that was all happening, my professional work was also increasing. As a creative freelancer, I am immensely grateful that the work was coming in and that the channel was growing, and both things were happening at once, but that had a certain price to pay. Before the year ended, it dawned on me that I was just a precipice away from being a burnout, and so I had to step back. You see, whenever I feel like I need to connect to something purer, I go hiking. And man, there's nothing like a good hike to really connect you to your own sense of destiny. Yes, you feel that surge of the feeling of freedom, but also that accountability for no one else but yourself. To me, creative freedom is like hiking in the mountains. I hike in my own pace, find my own footing and rhythm, figure out the trails that lie ahead with my own process, effort and yes, sweat. I will reach that summit in my own time and then see that view in my own eyes.
Creative freedom was exactly why I created this channel in the first place. To create my own meaning and see life from a half full glass perspective. And that hopefully it inspires creativity, freedom and happiness in others. Creative freedom is what keeps me excited in continuously creating under my own terms. Without the pressure, without the stress, without trying to fulfill somebody else's expectations, without filling up someone else's quota or being a slave to somebody else's algorithm. I came to a realization that the only rhythm I serve is the algorithm of my own purpose. They say practice what you preach. I can't inspire freedom in others without myself being free. And because of this, I decided to keep in the mood for life, independent and free, creatively free, where I keep making videos that I truly care about, videos that I am passionate about, videos that are worth giving a damn. And thanks to you, by just simply watching these videos that I create, you're helping me keep in the mood for life alive. So, thank you for watching guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for being here again and do subscribe if you still haven't. Speaking of creative freedom, I am soon creating a much longer video and more detailed video about creative freedom. So stay tuned and I will hopefully help creatives out there talk about the truth about what really creative freedom is and whether it's attainable, whether it's realistic and whether we're all just searching for some sort of creative Eldorado. Does it exist? Is it even attainable? Or is it something that we can slowly work towards as a goal? So stay tuned and see you again next time.